Hey everybody, welcome to my video on solving a system of equations. Uh, I've done this in lots of my videos, but I've never been very explicit about what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to look at a situation where you have two equations and two unknowns and how to solve for them. Uh, if you look at any of my supply and demand videos, you'll get lots more examples of this. I'm going to do one based on a utility maximization example. Uh, well, who am I kidding? I'm writing this out so that it's useful for anyone whether they've taken econ or not. We've got two equations. We've got y is equal to x over 4. And we've got that 64 equals 2x plus 8y. That's a simple system of equations. It comes from a utility maximization problem where we maximize utility, square root of xy, subject to this equation, our budget constraint, 64 bucks to spend on the two goods where the price of good x is two, the price of good y is eight. But that's not really relevant. I'm This is more algebra than anything. Uh, I've already done all the econ to get to this point. Now it's just algebra to solve it. So when you have two equations and two variables, two equations, two unknowns, you have a system of two equations, however you want to say it, uh, how do we address it? Well, it's going to be the same steps pretty much every time. Step one, there's going to be some sort of substitution between the equations. You're going to set something equal to each other in both equations. And step two, you take whatever your result and you substitute it into either equation. So what's that look like with these equations? I need to either substitute to get these x's equal to each other or to get these y's equal to each other. Doesn't matter which one, both will give me the same answer in the end. I'm gonna do the y just because it's easier to deal with right now. I'm gonna substitute this y here. In other words, I'm going to put this stuff there. So what is this going to look like? It's going to be 64 equals 2x plus 8y. Substitute between the equations. I have to take a piece from one equation and plug it into the other. So it'll look like this. In this case, it's probably the most straightforward way to do it. That's 64 equals 2x plus 2x. 64 equals 4x. x equals 16. All right, that is my result from step one. I found the x that makes these two equations be equal to each other. Now step two is I'm going to substitute that result into either one of the equations. It does not matter. I'll do the easy one first, but then I'll verify with the harder one. Uh, let's see, y is equal to x over 4, 16 over 4. I substituted this result in for x. y is equal to 4. Yay, we're done. All right, would I have gotten the same example if I'd substituted it into the other equation? 64 equals 2 times x, so 16, plus 8y. Is that going to give me the same thing? 64 equals 32 plus 8y. 32 equals 8y. I just subtracted 32 from both sides, by the way. 4 equals y. Hey, look, it doesn't matter which way I do it. I can substitute it into either equation. So these two steps become friends with them. In econ, and in whatever field you're in, probably, you'll often see more than one equation together. And if it's only two equations, it's really easy. Find a way to substitute the two equations equal to each other, setting your x's or your y's equal to each other, basically. And then whatever you solve for, plug it into either equation. And you'll have your x solved for, and you will have your y solved for. So, I hope that's helpful to you. If not, too bad. Go watch an algebra video. 
uh, or something. Hopefully it's helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.